What's going on guys, happy can I back in the video and today we're going to be talking about some Clash Royale ideas. Now I know what you're thinking, Havoc, where's the memes? We don't want to see you. Well, kind of your tits, okay? I had a very busy week and honestly, I could not create a list video in time. If I wanted to make a list video like 25 things players hate, I would have to rush it and rushing is never good because then you have a boring ass video. So I really do apologize. I had a lot of things to do. I've still been trying to set up my apartment. I got some tattoos. I don't know if you can kind of see. I'll show a picture. But anyways, I've also been trying to get my new license plates for my car because I did move states. You know, I got to change a lot of things. It's just there's a lot of pressure on me. But luckily it is November and I did promise you guys that I will be uploading three to seven videos a week. So stay tuned. Anyways, like I said, I wanted to talk about some ideas that I want to see in the game before we say goodbye to 2018. That's good stuff. I did not write these in any specific order, by the way. These are just random. I wrote a list down and I'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys. You know, Huang by Huang. Also, yeah, it is a little too bright in here, don't you think? Let me turn off one of these lights. All right, so now we have two lights instead of three. It's a lamp, I don't know, yeah, anyways, forget it. The first one is going to be add more clan leaks. I know what you're thinking, Havoc, Clan Wars is new. You know, calm down, we'll get him. No, it's not new. We got Clan Wars back in like April, March, whatever it was. That's a long ass time now. It feels so short, maybe because the year has gone so quick for you, but we got Clan Wars such a long time ago, so no. It's not a new future. Now the reason why I believe we need more leagues is because I often find myself having trouble above 3k. I may not be the only one, and you may not be the only one either, because when you get above 3k, it's just one massive league. It's one league. So what happens? Well, you get matched up with players that are at 4500 and you're at 3k. You're barely reaching 3k, and you get matched up with these pro clans that have nothing to do with your, you know level i just don't think it's fair and i know you probably have heard me mention this a hundred times about blah 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 my clan can't even pass 3k luckily we recently won a war after 3k and it feels great but to be honest that's that's not enough it should be like ladder if you don't want to add more leagues at least add subdivisions you know the last arena there's not going to be more arenas but they kept adding more divisions leagues in that arena to separate players from being in one massive arena you know and i believe that this is what clan wars needs we have to separate clans because it's a problem matchmaking is a bit broken you get matched up with clans that aren't even in your level you know they're just too good and you're just a clan barely reaching 3k so i think it needs to be fixed the next one is going to be permanent 2v2 grand challenges and classic challenges Supercell. 2v2 is already featured in the game, you know, it's already permanent, you can go ahead and go 2v2 and get some chests and get some dang gold. But the problem is, when you made it permanent, why didn't you add permanent challenges as well? You know, 2v2 grand challenge, where you have to win, let's say, even more matches, 20 wins to get this massive chest for you and your friend to share, or you each get one each. Honestly, that would be the game mode that I would be playing instead of classic challenges and grand challenges, because to be honest, those are old, those are outdated, nobody cares about them anymore unless you're a pro player, and I just believe that 2v2 would be fun, you know? There are no permanent 2v2 challenges, okay? You can't go out and just invite a friend and say, hey, let's let's go on this journey, let's complete this challenge today. And you know, 1v1 is cool, okay? We have liked them in the past, some people still do, but the problem is not a lot of people are willing to spend 100 gems for a grand challenge in 2018. Why not make it 100 gems for a 2v2 challenge or 50 gems for a 2v2 challenge where you can compete with friends for a nice reward, you know? It's not that big of a huge issue to add in the game, so why not add it? The next one is a bit small, okay? And I know what you're thinking, we don't need this, alright? Have it shut up. But it is to make a future or some just fix it, okay? to stop people from spamming you when they're your friend. I want friends, okay? I share my link sometimes on Twitter, I sometimes tweet it out to a person and a million people add me, but the problem is, people begin to spam you, okay? And then you have to unfriend them. Why do we have to unfriend someone just because we can't turn off that feature? You can cancel, but then they request again. There's no limit of how many times you can cancel and you know, keep requesting cancel, you know, it just goes on and on and on until you accept it so they can stop bothering you. There should be kind of like a barrier. 
I have no idea what that was. There should be kind of like a barrier, you know, a wall where if you cancel, they can't request for another five or 10 minutes. You know, we need a break, okay? There's spam and it just doesn't stop. And the only way to fix this is to unfriend that person. And maybe you do like them. Maybe they actually want to play with you, but you know, you have to unfriend to fix the damn thing. I don't think it should be that way, okay? If you take a look at social media accounts like Twitter, if someone's retweeting stuff you don't like, you just mute them, okay? Facebook, it's the same thing. Instagram, you just hide their posts, hide their stories, but you don't have to unfollow, unfriend, this, this, and that. So I think Clash Royale needs something to prevent us from unfriending just because we can't fix something. The next one is going to be one that is pretty controversial and a lot of people don't like and they're probably gonna hate me for mentioning it over and over and over, but it is just skins, okay? Tower skins. How cool would it be if we can customize our own towers, make it our own, you know? Clash Royale is all about deck building, you know, making your own deck. The game evolves around what you do, okay? But the fact that we can't really exactly customize anything other than our name is troubling. It's not troubling, but there's another word I'm looking for. Devastating. It's devastating. And Supercell has already let us change our skin in a way, but not when we want. For example, Gold Rush, Gem Rush, the towers change. Back in 2016, we had a pack for the AIDS awareness and our skins for the towers changed to a red pattern or full on red. It looked pretty cool. So skins are not anything new to the game. We just don't have the option to actually pick or when or how, you know? I think that if they're making emotes, you know, that we pay for, and we still hate that they're $20, but we still pay for, you might as well just add skins too. And I know a lot of people are going to say that Supercell's greedy for doing this, and oh, stop, you know, you're just milking our pockets. But be honest, people are still going to buy it, and I will too. It's not something Supercell cares about. You know, people can make videos about Supercell pulling money out of our pockets all the time, but nothing's going to happen. We will still buy them because we want that customization. We want those emotes. We want those packs, those gems, those boosts, you know? Anyways, moving on to the next one is going to be pick our war size or players or a blacklist. When it comes to war, it's a mess because you can't pick who's in the war. You can't ban someone from war. And if they don't want to participate, you can't do anything about it. And like I said, clan wars is nothing new to the game, okay? We've had it for months and uh, like what four or five months it'll be one year old i think clan wars should be kind of like how it is in clash of clans okay i know they're trying to be different and how hey, you know let's just make things different from clash of clans let's not copy all the time but you can't fix what's not broken okay clash of clans has a perfect future for this because you can actually opt out of war you know you can notify the leader that you're not gonna war this time. There's a toggle for this, okay? You can switch on and off. And based on what the leader wants, the war is pretty much the size you want it to be. Because the way Clash Royale is set up, people join the war, 50 players, and then 10 don't even attack. And guess what? You lose the war, you kick them, the next war the same thing happens because you have new players and it's just a cycle that goes on and on and on. You can't control what goes on in your clan war and that's a bit frustrating as a leader and a co-leader, you know? We have to have options for clan wars. We have to have a blacklist or at least just straight up copy what Clash of Clans did. The next one is going to be one that I took from Chief Pat. I have to give credit where it's due and Chief Pat mentioned this in his video about two, three weeks ago. I really like the idea and it's a survival mode for, you know, Single player, you know, player versus AI. And not just a normal map, you know, make it fun. A survival challenge where we try and defend huge waves of troops coming down. And the longer you survive, the harder it gets, the more troops come down, like four golems coming down and you have to deploy as much as you can to try and defend it. It's gonna be a neat challenge and sometimes why not add rewards, you know? Every minute you survive, you'll get another chest or that chest doubles in rewards. You know, something like that. Of course, it doesn't have to be something that's permanent. You can make a challenge for it, you know, a special event. Supercell really hasn't ever done anything with the AI besides the training camp. And I understand that AI is not so sophisticated. The mechanics of the AI in the game is just not up to who we are. But if you can make a training camp with a trainer that has max troops and deploys whenever he has available elixir and just keeps deploying, you know, I think very well you can make a very neat survival mode, maybe even have like a, 
I don't know, just something crazy, okay? There's a lot of things you can do with the AI, but Supercell is just concentrating on that multiplayer thing. And I know multiplayer is important. It's actually the whole concept of the game, but single player is always something good as well. Look at Clash of Clans. They added like, what, five, 10 more maps to single player? Did you really think anybody expected them to concentrate on single player for a minute? No. So yeah, maybe add something we can enjoy on our free time that doesn't require another person. The next one is going to be something that I've mentioned in the past, but it's going to be challenge tickets, okay? I'm aware that Chief Pad mentioned this, but I also mentioned this months ago, and it's something I really want. It would be cool if we can find like tokens in chests or tickets, not tokens because tokens are for trading, but let's name them tickets. Tickets, you know, passes, whatever. It would be cool if we found these tickets or passes in chess that would say, oh, one free grand challenge entry. It would be a ticket to enter a challenge for free because, you know, it's kind of hard to save 100 gems for a grand challenge. How long would it take you to save 100 gems from just getting one or two gems from a crown or a free chest? It's actually going to be a long time. And as a free to play player, well, not me, but as a free to play player, it's very hard to enter a grand challenge in the first place because you never have enough gems. And when you do, is it worth it? Maybe not. And even though this is not a huge deal and we would probably not even need this at all, but I just think it'd be cool. For the free to play players, this would be awesome to get a chance to enter grand challenges or classic challenges when they have a free pass. Just a free pass, you know, go ahead, free entry. The last one is going to be a ladder practice. I know what you're thinking, Havoc, just go on training camp. That's what it's for, right? No. Training camp is, I'm sorry to say, but it sucks. Training camp is the worst place you can go to test your deck, okay? It is beyond the worst. And what happens when you want to try to test out ladder decks? Well, hmm, you can't. Friendly battles? No, those are tournament standard. 2v2? No, you can't practice ladder on 2v2 because you have another person with you. There's four people battling. So there's no real way to practice ladder besides going cold turkey and trying out your new deck and ladder. We need a mode where we can practice, you know, just a casual 1v1 where you don't earn rewards and you don't lose trophies, okay? Maybe we can make it like 2v2 as well where you earn chests but don't lose trophies or, you know, anything like that, but it's all up to the developers, okay? I think we would very well benefit from a 1v1 practice because sometimes we just want to practice but we don't want to go cold turkey into the uh, wilderness Called ladder. Trying out new decks is risky. You know, you're gonna lose a lot of trophies if the deck sucks. How are you supposed to know if a deck is good after you lose 100 trophies? This often leads to people copying other people's decks because they're already made or going on deckbuilder.com or something, I don't know, or watching YouTube videos on decks that are pre made. There's no way to practice, and since I saw Chief Pat win, he won like five matches. That's my practice right there. I don't have to practice. I can just copy the deck and go along with it. So yeah, just a simple practice mode would be good. I think this would be cool. Um, you know, like myself, I just, I'm too scared to create my own decks and go jump on ladder because I know that ladder is a huge deal for me. I never really push. And when I do, I use old decks because I already know how to use them. There's no way to practice. So I don't really create new decks. Anyways, that should be it. I'm not sure how much were they. Uh, there's probably eight. Nine, ten? I don't know. I didn't really count. I didn't really add numbers to the list. I just wrote down whatever and boom. This is probably going to be a long video. Looking at the recording, it's already 25 minutes. Holy cow. Of course, I'm going to have to cut the video down. So it's probably going to be like uh, 12 minutes, 13 minutes. But anyways, that doesn't matter. Who cares? Those are my ideas. I know you guys have some more ideas. And if you guys want to go ahead and comment down below your ideas, go ahead. Just Drop them down below and I'll read them, you know? Anyways, that should be it. I hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, stay tuned for those list videos as well. I'm still working on one. I just couldn't really finish it in time before Saturday. Of course, like I said, I would have to rush the videos in order to upload today and I didn't want to do that. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.